Alright guys, it's Adam coming back to you live from my bedroom, and uh, as you can see, uh, we're going to start off with the uh, magic element today, so uh, let's start off with Hoot Loop. Now, this guy was revealed at E3, and I don't want to okay, there we go. So, uh, I, di I actually didn't hear his catchphrase yet, so uh, let's hear what he sounds like. Some feathers. So he sounds pretty cool, uh, kind of like a British accent. Raise that volume up for you guys. And uh, so there's his uh, figure. In my opinion, his eyes look a little derpy, but uh, I mean, this guy's a must buy. He's a freaking teleporting owl. Like, why wouldn't you want that? So uh, he's full of luck. He's really up there. His stats, not really uh, good otherwise. His power and armor are pretty uh, average. He's pretty slow though. Um, there's his, uh, story, and, uh, here's some cool pictures of him, uh, he can shoot these little, like, ma uh, magic orbs at the uh, enemies, looks like they only provided one image, so, uh, let me show you his footage. So there he is, he can put people into a trance, kind of like Ninjini's, uh, Soul gem. Whoa! Did you just see that? He can tr uh, fake the enemy out by uh, teleporting in five places at once. So, uh, let's move on to the uh, next person. We have Trap Shadow. So, this is what he sounds like. Hide and sleek. So, that's, uh, that's a really nice voice for him, in my opinion. It's like very, um, I don't know, like kind of raspy, but very like smooth voice like I can't really explain it but yeah and uh, there's his uh, figure he's like shushing uh, you're the portal master to be quiet I don't um like no offense Activision but that I it would have been cool if like he had kind of a pose like that or something uh, don't get me wrong his uh, color scheme is really awesome uh, he's gonna be a uh, must buy like one of my favorites but uh, I don't like how he's putting his fi uh, finger in front of his mouth so, uh, his armor is really up there, um, because that's because he has a, if you, if you don't know what this is called, it's called a bear trap, Now, if you step on it, it closes this little, uh, thing in the middle, it's like a, uh, it's like a, like a pedal, when, if anything steps on it, the two things close and, like, cut off your legs, so, uh, or grab you, so, um, and hence the name, that's how they used to catch bears, so, um, there he is. His uh, stats are pretty, like, all over the place. Uh, there's his story. There's some nice pictures of him. Um, I think this is the bonus mission with all the uh, music everywhere because there's, like, some uh, trombones in the background or whatever. So there he is. He's kind of like a purple saber tooth. And uh, he has, like, really nice green glowing eyes like you'd see in the night. Wow, and that must be a really cool upgrade. He can get three bear traps at once, which is pretty cool. And, uh, let me show you some footage. So there he is. He can, like, claw enemies. Whoa, he can shoot, like, a orb from his, uh, knees, I think. So, or, I think from his braces on his, uh, shins. But, uh, let's move on to the next character, which is Starstrike. Now, this one, I'm extremely excited for, because she is awesome. So this is what she sounds like. This is Light Core. Let me see if it works on first edition. It's not working. Now, if I remember correctly, it didn't even work when I uh, came on here on my own time. So, uh, I'm really sorry about that. That's uh, on Activision's part. Nothing to do with that. Um, so there she is. Uh, this is her, uh, f um, her her core pose. Um, she's like ready to battle, almost exactly the same as this. But um, 
I don't know if that's a mouth or not, but I always think that looks like a mouth. Um, so, her stats are average, like, just extremely average, but they're all pretty low. They're good, but they're extremely average, which is, uh, I don't find average to be a good thing. I like to be all over the place, like, 200 armor and, like, 80 agility, but, uh, whatever. So, there's her story, and there is, um... Some nice pictures. She's shooting another magic orb, kind of like Hoot Loop. And, uh, there she is. Like, she's doing a spin attack, like, uh, Flash Wing. And, uh, the magic element, it's, like, hidden. Like, some Skylanders have a magic e element on their bodies. There's one on this, like, little pin here holding her robe. And there's, like, magic elements surrounding her base here, like, in that little circle right there. So, uh, let me show you her footage. Sorry if you hear any background noise, guys. She kind of reminds me of like a, not being stereotypical, but like a Chinese ro a rogue, because with with the fans, or Japanese. I'm not sure which uh, nationality that's from, but uh, that was really cool. She can shoot like orbs. So um, this is Light Core, and. Uh, See if I can get it to work. No, it's not working. So, uh, her eyes light up here. And, um... What was I gonna say? Uh, or her... Oh, my God. I, I blanked out. Sorry if you hear any background noise, guys. Like I said, my sister's giving my mom a hard time. She's only five. So, uh, her eyes are lighting up. And, uh, we've known her, uh, before, actually, the, uh, regular character. She was leaked. So it looks like her stats, uh, she has a little bit more power than, uh, uh, first edition. Um, all light cores are more powerful. Um, and that's because, uh, I don't know if that's because, uh, if you didn't know, when you bring them into the game, they, uh, damage enemies when they, uh, pop into the, uh, game. So, uh, which is pretty cool. So there's her story. And, uh, I forgot to mention, feel free to pause the video whenever I go, like, here's her story. I don't just scroll down quickly. I do that so you if, uh, so if anybody wants to read it, uh, you can go ahead. So, um, there's a cool picture of her eyes glowing in-game. There's a really nice picture of her spinning, like, about to kill some chompies. And, uh, here's her, uh, footage. Now, for some reason, it's not letting me, uh, zoom in more on, like, my other, uh, element videos, but, uh, can't do anything about that. So her eyes are lighting up, as you can tell, they, they're glowing. And she can summon these orbs and reflect them back, which is pretty neat. That is really cool. Yeah, so, uh, that was Star Strike. And, whoops. So next we have Dunebug. Now, he looks pretty cool, in my opinion. Um, now, for some reason, they don't have his, uh... Audio, that's, uh, once again on Activision's part. I have nothing to do with that. Uh, I really want to know what he sounds like. I'm guessing he sounds, uh, kind of, like, adultish, because he has armor. But then again, he could sound, like, kind of childish, kind of, like, wind-up. So there he is. He looks extremely different. I like his more cartoony face here. Here he looks more serious. Um, so there, this is what I'm talking about. Like, I like it all over the place. Uh, he's pretty slow. Um... His power is decent. He has really nice body armor, though, as you can tell. Uh, beetles have, uh... It's pretty hard to, uh, like, squash a beetle. If you squash him with, like, a... With decent amount of force, they won't die. But, um... Not that you'd want to kill bugs. Like, what's wrong with that? Anyway, <laughs> we're getting sidetracked. So there is his, uh, story. Um... So there he is. He's, like, shooting some, uh, enemies. He looks more manlier. Like, he's a double chin. In gameplay, but he looks more cartoony. It looks like at least he has a double chin, and his face is more, like, glowy. As you can say, like, golden. So, uh, here's his footage. He has a really nice, like, magical staff. He can summon him. Let's fix my camera. There he is. He can fly, like, uh, Spyro. And all the other dragons. This looks like he's a really fast flyer. I guess that's how you could say it. That's pretty cool. He looked at us as he uh, exited the screen. Oh my god, he saw me! So, um... 
do we have next? Now, this guy I'm extremely excited for, excited for, Super Gulp Pop Fizz. He's just sitting there on a giant potion, and uh, this is what he sounds like if you didn't know. The motion of the potion! So, um, yeah, that's what he uh, sounds like. Uh, there's his, I think, he looks exactly the same as his artwork, just giving a thumbs up on his giant bottle. His uh, stats are, uh, his armor and agility are average. His power is decent, but uh, these have uh, nothing to do with his in-game uh, uh, abilities. He is extremely powerful. I mean extremely powerful. Once you get a soul gem, oh my god, he... When you can mix those potions on the floor and you can cause fires and stuff like a mad scientist. He is really nice. So there's his story. I'll give you a second to look at that. There he is throwing his potions. Now... The purple, it looks like they changed the color scheme, now they're pink, but they walk around and, like, explode on enemies, kind of like Countdown's minions. The green ones, he just throws, and I forget what the red one does. I think the, or the yellow one causes, like, a thing that slows down the enemies, and they're just, there's another one that he can just throw. So, wow, look at his wow pal. He can summon a giant minion. I don't know if that's just far uh, up close and it looks huge, or... That's, he can summon a giant minion, but, uh, here's his footage. That's what I like, he, like, jumps off the screen and flies away. So there he is in monster form. I, I chose his, uh, alchemist path. I didn't choose his beast form. I didn't find it very much helpful. I rarely used it. But, uh, let's see if they show us his wow pal. Man, they didn't. I don't know if I missed it or whatever, but, uh... That looks really nice. If you can summon a giant bottle that follows him around. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, who does that? Oh, kind of like T-Rex with his uh, woodpecker pal. That occasionally, um, kills an enemy. So, uh, who do we have next? I believe... Yes, Spyro. Mega Ram Spyro. The guy we all know and love since PlayStation 1, and this is what he sounds like if you didn't know. All fired up. So, um, there he is. He's like, uh, he's kind of like a rams, like a, what does it say, mountain goat that are all, uh, fired up, I guess you could say. So, uh, there he is. He has kind of the same, like, facial expression as Series 2 and Series 1. They both have their mouth open, but, uh, he just has more, uh, horns and he's, uh, not sitting like... Like, sitting. <laughs> I was about to say, like, sitting on his butt, but, uh, butt, butt. So, oh my god, I'm, like, getting tongue twisted today. Tongue tied. So, there's the stats. He has a really low power, but in the game, he's extremely powerful. Um, he's really fast. Um, I'm guessing, I don't know if they're talking about, uh, on his, on feet or in air, but I'm guessing in air, because... Uh, when when he can fly, he's extremely fast. His armor is decent and his luck is decent, but uh, just ignore this thirty five power. He's extremely powerful in the game, guys. Uh, if you don't have Spyro's Adventure, um, then uh, if you and then you don't know what I'm talking about. But if you do, just ignore what I'm saying. Uh, I accidentally went back. So there he is, like uh, shooting a fireball at a cycle. I forgot what these guys are called. So there he is flying, all happy. In uh, Iron Jaw Gulch, I believe. And uh, uh, let's watch his footage. Now, every day Activision adds something new to the website. Like they change it up a little or something. I don't know what the deal with that is, but. It just lagged out a little, but that's okay. That's his Wow Pal in Series 2. Looks like we got a little Fire Gear Golem action going on there. And the. Uh, like I said, that's a series two wow power where you can uh like if you see my cursor he can like go down and like ground pound with his head. So uh yeah, that's been it for the magic guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um please leave a comment down below who your favorite magic element is. And uh, also right next to that, right magic is awesome. I don't know. <laughs> I don't care if it's not your favorite, but I just wanna know if you guys actually like these videos and you're watching till the end. So uh, I've been Adam, and have a good day.